If your bandsaw does not start, check that the power cord is plugged into power supply and that there is power to the machine. Check that the breaker is on or reset the breaker. Check that you have the correct power, either 110 volts if you requested a machine that provides 110 volts or 220 volts. Disconnect the machine from the, the, the wall and uh, check that your ground wire, yellow and green, is connected to your ground wire for your plug. Check that the doors are closed and that the foot brake is fully in the up position. Then check the stop button is fully out. Best thing to do is press the stop button in, then pull out and make sure that the button is moving. Then turn the start switch fully to the right to start the machine. Motor tries to start but will not turn. With the power disconnected from the machine, open the doors and try to turn the wheel by hand. If the wheel is not turning, check the reason for the jam. Typical reasons are guides too tight, wood jammed in wheel. Squeaking noise. Check that the belt tension is adjusted correctly. Check the guides are adjusted correctly. Blade slows during cut. Loose dry belt. Check that the belt tension is correctly adjusted. Dull blade. Replace the blade or have it resharpened if applicable. Feeding the wood too fast. Slow down the feed rate oil or dirt on the drive belt. Clean or replace the drive belts. Fence not aligned correctly. Align the fence. Machine vibrates. Machine not level onto the floor. Relevel the machine ensuring that it has no movement. Damaged drive belt. Replace the belt. Blade overheats. You have a dull blade. Change the blade or resharpen the blade if applicable. Wood too hard for the selected blade. Change the blade. Pitch is too small for the cut. Change to a blade with the correct pitch. Your guides are too tight. Adjust the guides. Blade will not track on wheels. Bad blade, change the blade. Crown on wheels, worn or damaged tire. Dress the tires or replace. Blade drives into or away from the fence. Need to adjust the fence. How to replace ceramic inserts. Clean the slot on the aluminum block. Tap it out with a center punch and a hammer. By using a 220 sandpaper, uh, make sure you clean the slot of any excess glue or debris. If need to, you can use a razor blade to scrape some of the residue off. And now we go ahead and apply super glue, the gel type, just a fine strip of glue. Okay. Okay, with the glue on there, slide the ceramic insert in and set it upside down and let it cure.